Rail staff are to vote on industrial action over lack of protection against thuggery on trains. Members of the National Bus and Rail Union say authorities must act to protect rail workers from antisocial behaviour, which has gone well beyond a tipping point. I'm joined now by Dermot O'Leary, General Secretary of the NBRU, uh, about this. Uh, you're very welcome along, Dermot. Now, you've well, written a letter to the Taoiseach, Minister Eamon Ryan and, and a few other um, representatives. What have you said to them in that letter? Well, look, I suppose the letter was initially sent to the CEO of Irish Rail um, and copied to the to Taoiseach and the, the various ministers. And basically, I suppose, look, this, this issue of antisocial behaviour, and again, news talk in your own show there, has been covering this for many, many years at this stage. Uh, and I suppose staff had reached uh, the end of the tether, and to, to borrow a phrase, uh, they've said to us, enough is enough. And despite all the, the publicity that we've tried to generate for their cause, and nothing it seems to be give. It seems to give in terms of you know resolving this issue, and it's a big ask uh, of all stakeholders. I would accept that to, to resolve. Uh, but certainly, look, I suppose the people that I represent work for Irish Rail in the first instance, and they've said to us, look, despite the many calls to different ministers over the years, different departments, government themselves directly, uh, the National Transport Authority, who don't seem to want to talk to us at all about any issue. Uh, despite all that, uh, the employee, ha- or sorry, the employer has the responsibility to make uh, safe the environment that people that we represent work in and indeed that people that are supposed to be travelling on public transport uh, are, are travel on. What, so what kind of, come to a head once a while. What kind of incidents have you heard about from your members, Dermot? Well, well, look, again, the Irish Times this morning reported on uh, quite a variety of them and again, look, uh, I hate attaching low grade but there's been antisocial behaviour, I suppose, in some lines that would be classed in some quarters as low grade, stone throwing and, you know, graffiti and just boisterous general, you know, unruly behaviour on stations. That's that's a concern in itself. But certainly in terms of some of the more serious stuff out there uh, on main lines, Cork Dublin in particular, but not exclusively, of course, the Sligo line, you have all of the lines, that, you know, there's problems. And again, you know, the Times covered some of them this morning, but some of them, you know, could border on, you know, again, not my worst words of the members represent sexual, threats of sexual assault significantly uh, on, on a number of women who work in those in, in those roles. Uh, the drunken behaviour, uh, threats, you know, to physical violence. Uh, you know, p- some people uh, don't work on trains anymore as a result of some mm. of the stuff that that's been going on. You know, shooting up uh, uh, openly. You know, uh, uh, cocaine use. It, it, it goes on and on and on. I mean, look the 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 correspondence. Uh, we will have sent initially to to Irish Rail, and indeed uh, the government ministers would would have all those attached as appendices. But it's horrific out there. And again, I suppose one of the main the main stats, I suppose, that you know that would really would surprise people. Reported by the Irish Examiner a number of months ago was that in June 2020 to June 2021 there were 2,300 instances mm. across our railways. You know what I mean? That was in the middle well, of a time no, when capacity was reduced. Indeed, and it is it is shocking both the number of instances and the reports of what's going on. Dermot, what is it about public transport and trains in particular that do you think that attracts this element of thuggery and look, criminal behaviour? Well, look, to be honest with you, Sinead, look, uh, there, there, there was a couple of things that our members asked us to say, right? And, and, and uh, sorry, a few things, and some I can't, uh, I'm not allowed to say, I would suggest to you, right? But one of the things they said to me was, uh, anonymize our names, please, but don't sanitize what we have to say. So that's what they asked us to do, right? But there are, there, there's no doubt in my mind, right? And I try and generalize here, there are certain elements in society that seem to have access to public transport. Uh, that doesn't seem to be the case in other countries that we've uh, we've visited, in the case of the UK, or looked at from a distance in other countries and there's an element uh, among society that does have that access to public transport and that element is causing an awful lot of uh, mm. the problems we have I have to say that right now, uh, and as far as I can go Irish Rail would say they've increased the budget in this area there's CCTV they've introduced a text alert system uh, is that that's not enough is that is that your contention? Uh, yeah, it is. And look, I, I've, look, I've acknowledged that in the correspondence of Irish Rail, and I, we've been engaging with Irish Rail, but at the end of the day, you know, I don't think that was being done. Any time I called, for example, and we've been calling for many years for the dedicated Garda Public Transport Division, supported, by the way, uh, uh, by the Garda representative bodies, uh, you know, obviously if the, if the resources were made available. And any time we called for that, and any time we ask Irish Rail to join us in that call, if they're silence in that quarter. So, uh, really, you know, I'm saying... Why do you cases, think that I'm is? That, do you think it's down well, to look, the money, uh, the budget? Because, well, I mean, the well, Lewis no, is no, doing it. You've Robocops there. Um, is that well, what you want again, to see? I, I, yeah, again, look, I'm not too sure how successful or not that Robocop uh, security is. It doesn't have the powers of detention and arrest, and there's no consequences for people that engage in the behaviour that we've witnessed. People feel safer when they see them, though. 
Well, they do, but they don't see one in every coach and every, you know, in, in, in the newest. But again, it, it looks that's part of the debate, but there's many, many stakeholders, many, many strands mm. to this, right? But in terms of Irish Rail, look, I suppose, and I've said this many, many times, I can say things Irish Rail can't say, uh, and there's political, I suppose, connotations, but then, you know, coming out supporting something like, I would say, in terms of the Garda Public Transport Division. But I suppose my message this morning is not about the NBIU, yeah. really, well, you know, we're at the Vanguard. It's about the members that work, the people the that work on the front oh, line. Right. And again, one last point, one last point, yeah. if I might. Oh, very briefly. Day, COP 20, yeah, COP26 is starting today. And we're trying to encourage people to come back onto public transport yeah. and indeed new patrons. How can we do that if every time they don't okay. open the paper or look at their phone as an insult of any social safe. behavior on public right. transport? Okay, Dermot O'Leary, General Secretary of the NBRU, thank you for all of that this morning.